Let's see how perpetual inventory system works using first in first out method. What you will learn how to calculate ending inventory cost, how to calculate cost of good sold, and how to calculate gross profit. We will be using this question. When to prepare the answer for perpetual inventory system using first in first out, we first have to prepare this schedule. This schedule include information like date purchases COGS as known also known as cost of good sold and balance. Okay, first uh, we want to record for the first translation uh, the beginning inventory for this question. So we record first uh, starting with the date April 1st and the unit in the column of balance unit times RM 10 ringgit as per stated as per stated in the question and you will get total 1000 next we will be recording purchase happen on 10th of April okay to record that we are going to write the unit for purchase in the purchase column and times the cost related to the date and then we will get total 808 ringgit when in column in balance column on the 10th april we have to write again the opening balance on the 1st april since that the unit never been sold and then we now to add the unit purchase on the 10th april at the below row af after you write the opening balance from the 1st april that's mean on the 10th april we have two type of inventory with two different price still available for sale now we will be writing the 18 april of sales what we have to do now is we just put the 90 units stated in the questions in the unit column in the cost of goods sold column as you can see you will be taking the 90 units from the inventory cost 10 ringgit and please be reminded that the balance of the unit for 10 ringgit 10 unit later you will times the 90 unit with the cost of 10 ringgit you will get the total for the cost of goods sold for the 18 april so the balance for the 18 april is the 10 unit left the 10 unit left for rm 10 ringgit and we move to the next inventory that is 80 unit times 11 ringgit this is the inventory that available for sale on this date okay next we move to the next transaction which is on 20th april that is the purchase so like what we did before we now to write the unit of purchase 70 unit times the cost cost related which is 12 ringgit and you will get 8, 840 ringgit now what is the balance for 20th april okay the balance for 20th april is the is the 10 unit times 10 ringgit the 80 unit time 11 ringgit 
and we add some more for today for this date purchase which is 70 unit times 12 ringgit so these are all the inventory which is available for sale on this date we have three types of inventory with three different prices okay now we move to the 70 we move to the 27th of april transaction as stated in the question the amount of sale on that day is 50 unit we are not going to write 50 in the unit column in the cost of good sold column what we have to do now is we have to select from the three type different price which is the inventory that we must take the first yes we have to take the first inventory with the price of 10 ringgit to write to the column unfortunately in the in for the 10 ringgit inventory we only have 10 units so now what we have to do is we will write the 10 unit first and times the 10 ringgit and later to complete the 50 unit to complete the 50 unit to be sold now we will be taking 40 unit from the 80 unit with the price of 11 ringgit this is what first in first out all about we will take the first inventory the first inventory purchase in the store then we move to the next purchase okay later you will get the total for both sale with diff with two different price and what is the balance on that day the balance on that day is the balance from the 80 unit from the 80 unit times 11 which is 40 then now you will times the 40 with 11 ringgit and the 70 unit times 12 ringgit okay that is total of ending balance for this example okay now we are going to summarize our answer so the question asks you how how much the cost of ending inventory so in this question you will be adding the last the last amount in the last transaction which is 1280 what is the cost of goods sold so the cost of goods sold is from the column of cost of goods sold in the uh, from the part of total we will total all the amount that we just calculated and then we will get 1440 later the question asks you what is the amount of gross profit so to get the gross profit we will be deducting cost of goods sold from the total of sale in this question stated the amount of sale is 2800 now we will minus the 2800 with the 1440 and lastly you will get gross profit amounting 1360 okay that's all for now thank you for watching and learning